guys welcome back if you haven't already please subscribe like if you enjoyed this video and feel free to comment below all right well today we've got a little bit more on our counter here I'm gonna be making a tea an immune boosting tea and I'm also gonna be making caramelized apple and sweet potato so this is gonna be a dessert to have with our tea all right so I've got parsley, celery, half a lemon, ginger that's been soaked for about half an hour. So it's very, very soft, gonna be easy for me to chop up. And aloe vera, yes. And this is the actual plant, with all of its slime. But very, very good. Now, aloe vera is great for digestion and it's also high in vitamin C. Celery is good for the heart. Parsley, well, now we already know what that did for us in our marinade. But the vitamin C and my little friend here, where's my friend? Here we go. On guard. This is going to be the last thing I'm going to add. And this is going to even give an even more boost for our immune system. So with the times that we're in currently, we need something like this. I drink this tea every single day. Oh, and I almost forgot, turmeric. We know that uh, turmeric is good for anti-inflammatory. But that will be boiling, and then we're going to start with that. So let's just chop this up. Now, I actually found out about this tea from my mother when I was first diagnosed uh, with lupus. So I pretty much stuck to what she was doing and started doing it for myself and learned about some more things that would help give me a better, a higher boost of vitamin C and pretty much boost my immune system so that I could fight off all the sicknesses and illnesses that are out there and that are, that I'm actually more susceptible to because of the autoimmune disease. All right. So it's ginger. Root is extremely, extremely strong, but it is so beneficial. Now, I am not going to use this whole root, so I'm going to put this back. I'm actually going to take, since we already soaked it, off the skin. So I take about a half of that. So I want to say this is a good two tablespoons of ginger. This might be a little time consuming, so by all means, take the skin off prior to chopping. All right, so our ginger's chopped, parsley. We're gonna take this half a lemon, we're actually gonna boil it inside of the pot. I have some celery here. Now, I'm gonna take the aloe vera that I mentioned earlier, and I'm gonna put it right inside of the bowl. Everything's gonna be transferred here, then we're gonna throw it into the pot. Now, there's some skin left over from this aloe vera. Now, I took about, I wanna say, two tablespoons of the aloe vera. And aloe vera is good for digestion, as well as the skin. Now, I know that we think of aloe vera as it being something soothing, use it for a burn or a cut. I usually take this, and when I finish using it for the tea, I would actually put it on my skin. If you have a blemish or a pimple, it literally dries it out. It is good for acne, so do not waste it use all of your items all right so putting this in here adding the parsley and we cannot forget our turmeric now, I'm going to go right on back. I'm going to add this to the pot here. Now, I'm adding the turmeric. And that is one tablespoon and two cups of water. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is add this on guard essential oil. Now this boosts the immune system even more. 
I'm going to be adding it to the tea, but only two drops. If I was just going to have an apple or any other fruit, I could add three to four drops. It is very strong. It will overpower it. So that's why we're just doing one to two. I'm going to use two. You can use one. Now, as that's boiling, we're going to start the caramelized apple and sweet potato. Now, I wanted something sweet without having the process, right? So, I know that sweet potatoes are sweet. I know that apples are sweet. I know I got my fruit and I got my veggie. So, why not combine the two? Make me a nice little dessert. And I don't have to worry about the calories. Well, there's going to be some calories. But not the ones that hurt. So, I'm just chopping these up. Thankfully, we got some already pre-chopped. All right. Now, you want to make these cubed. I'm just making a nice triangular shape don't want them too small I actually want them pretty chunky we don't really want this mashed I want it to be soft not too soft though so a nice bite size to really enjoy because we will be topping it off with some cranberry raisins all right, so right now I'm going to start with the apple. I'm going to take actually this little piece right here, the seed right out. We don't need you. And that. Now, any apple, this is actually a gala. A red delicious will work just fine. I think if we use a green apple, it would be a little bitter. So I would stick to a red delicious, any sweet red apple. Yeah, that fell. Whoopsie. It's all good. All right. Okie dokie. We are going to put the rest of this. Now, where did this recipe come about? Honestly, just trying to have something sweet. You know, trying to stay away from the processed ice cream or the chocolate cake that's from that store bought or, or anything for that matter. You know, we want something sweet. And we sometimes forget that a lot of the fruits and vegetables are sugar and sweet. So... This satisfied my craving, and that's where it came about. Now, two tablespoons of butter is going to be put in the pot first. Now I'm adding a teaspoon of honey, a teaspoon of nutmeg. Let's see here. My favorite, coconut brown sugar. And we're adding about, let's see here, we got two teaspoons of that. And then we're going to top this off after it's been sauteed slash fried a little bit. We're going to add some craisins. All right. So let me add a little bit of my cinnamon, which I don't know if I mentioned my cinnamon. Got to have cinnamon. My coconut brown sugar. I add the nutmeg. Now, the sweet potato is already, obviously, has a nice sweet flavor. Now, the sweet potato, it's already sweet. You got your apples in here, top it off with the craisins. It's honestly a really, really sweet dessert, and that's just it. It's a dessert. So, I would not sit down and eat this as a meal but definitely have it as a dessert. Now I am adding 
two teaspoons of honey. And I'm going to just drizzle the last one. Right on top. Just like that. Any honey is fine. I try to keep everything as organic as possible. This is a brand called YSB Farms. You can get that. I've got that at my uh, local produce store. And that. Now that tea is boiling back there, which is what we want. Just gonna mix this around. Mix and mix and mix and mix and it's not doing too much. So now, now I'm gonna melt my butter. All right, so what I forgot to mention was we need a cup of water. So we got the butter in here, and now I'm gonna pour in the water. All right, now after that water is boiling for about a minute or two, I'm gonna add the sweet potato. And I wanna say about 15 to 17 minutes in, we're gonna add the apples. It's not gonna take that long to cook, so we're just gonna leave it in there. And then when this has a nice, soft, tender feel, I'm gonna take everything out and we're gonna actually start frying. We're adding our apples. And all of the cinnamon and the nutmeg and the brown sugar and the honey. Don't wanna waste it. All right, now I'm just gonna do a quick little stir. I'm gonna heat up the griddle and we are gonna start frying. Smells so good. All right, so now that this has been cooking for 15 minutes, you saw that I put the apples in there. Just do this for another two to three minutes. We're gonna take it out and then we are gonna put it on the griddle and start frying. All right. All right, so I added some grapeseed oil. You can also use a little bit of olive oil. That's about, mm, I wanna say, a good teaspoon to two. Now, uh, you can smell the brown sugar. All that in there. One more. Now I want this to have a nice golden brown color. I'm gonna keep it on the griddle until that occurs. I do that for about, I want to say, a good five to eight minutes. Now, if it hasn't reached that crispy golden brown color, just leave it in for, leave it on there for a little longer. And we're going to just wait. All right. So, we have our sweet potato, well, caramelized apple and sweet potato. This is just a simple dessert whenever you're in that mood for something sweet. You can add graham crackers on top. I have these craisins, so I'll just be adding a little bit there. Now, I added two extra teaspoons of honey. So... Whatever you want, get it to your desired taste. I'm gonna pour it in our little teacup here. Now, our tea is ready. 
is very hot and it should have a nice bright color. Now if you remember I used the aloe vera earlier and I still got the peel left. We're going to use that later for the face. We've got our tea here and we got our dessert. Easy to make. All right. So we got our healthy dessert. If you'd like, you can add a little bit of honey. I added two extra teaspoons. Now our tea. You forget about the on guard. So I'm going to add just one drop of this. It's pretty strong. So two isn't necessary. Well, two fell in. Doesn't hurt anybody either. But like I mentioned earlier, you can also put this in some fruits, apples, grapes, whatever it may be, add three to four, depending on how many or you choose to eat. But with this, I just added, I wanted to add one drop, but two fell in, which is fine. Trust me, your immune system will thank you. So if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and comment below. And uh, I'll try not to burn my mouth. Pretty strong, but so is my immune system. All right, you guys, thank you. See you next time.